The following is a tutorial on FLIR's Research IR Max software and image enhancement tools that are available. Once we're connected to the image, you'll notice that anywhere I move my mouse, I get a temperature value per pixel. If I want to change the color palette to something that maybe I prefer better, I go to View Palette and I can choose from any number of built-in color palettes. For example, I could choose grayscale. Or maybe I want to choose the popular 1234 palette. From there, I can further adjust the color palette level and span by going just underneath the image to the image enhancement area. You'll see a histogram of all the pixel of, pixels of data. I can adjust the span by just grabbing this left handle and dragging it in. Let's say that I'm only interested in the hottest things within the field of view. Why waste my color palette on items I'm not interested in? So here I've squeezed the span to something much smaller and I can now move it left and right to adjust the level. Now I see a lot more detail on the items that I'm most interested in. For example, this LED. But don't be worried about losing data because even where I have black as the color palette, the data underneath the hood is unchanged. I still get temperature values per pixel. If I go back to an auto scale or using the level and span from the image, I can also choose some image enhancement algorithms. Right now I have it on plateau equalization, but I can also choose adaptive plateau equalization or digital detail enhancement. DDE, as we call it, helps show even the smallest, most subtle temperature differences. Here now I can see more details on that flashing LED. I can also come back in and adjust my level and span to tighten things up even more. Now if this is too much contrast, I can go in and adjust the sharpness as well, making it more or less. This image looks pretty good. Other options I have for adjusting the level and span is I can actually type in a specific temperature range. Maybe I want to go from 20 Celsius to I don't know, maybe uh, 32 Celsius. I can also choose to have the color palette adjust based on an active region of interest. So let's put it on active ROI, and I'm going to create a box tool here. Now it only looks for the pixels within the box when adjusting that level and span. The smaller I make the box, the more tuned in it becomes. I'll put it back to the auto scale. So that's some of the image enhancement algorithms and tools that are available to me. For more information on Research IR, continue to watch the tutorials to learn more about acquiring data, doing analysis, and sharing data. Thank you.